Today, we're diving into macOS 27, Apple's next big operating system update coming in 2026. macOS Tahoe, version 26, is already making waves in its 2025 beta phase, but macOS 27 is set to take things to a whole new level. And here's the kicker. It's Apple Silicon only, leaving Intel Macs in the dust. In this breakdown, we'll cover the release date, system requirements, new features, AI advancements, and whether you should start planning an upgrade. Stick around, and let's get started. So, when will we see macOS 27? Apple's release cycle is pretty predictable. Based on patterns from macOS Tahoe and earlier versions like Sequoia, expect macOS 27 to be unveiled at WWDC 2026, likely around June 8th or 9th. Developer betas typically drop the same day, with public betas hitting in July. The full release? That's usually September or October 2026, aligning with Apple's fall events. For context, macOS Tahoe was announced at WWDC 2025 on June 9th and is currently in beta as of August 2025. Security updates for Tahoe will keep older Macs safe for a while, but macOS 27 will bring the shiny new features. Mock your calendars. Now, let's talk compatibility, and this is where things get real. macOS 27 will only run on Apple Silicon Macs, meaning M1 chips and newer. If you're using an Intel-based Mac, even high-end ones like the 2019 Mac Pro or 2020-27 inch iMac, macOS 27 won't be available for you. Apple confirmed at WWDC 2025 that Tahoe, version 26, is the final OS for Intel Macs, supporting just a few models. The 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro, 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro with four Thunderbolt ports, 2019 Mac Pro, and 2020 27-inch iMac. For macOS 27, expect support for all Apple Silicon Macs from 2020 onward, so M1, M2, M3, M4, and possibly M5 or M6 by 2026. There's a chance Apple might drop the oldest M1 models, like the 2020 MacBook Air, if they stick to their 7-8 to eight year support window, but that's not confirmed yet. Why is Apple ditching Intel? It's all about their custom silicon. The transition started in 2020 with the M1 chip, which brought massive performance and efficiency gains. By WWDC 2025, Apple made it clear that macOS Tahoe would be the last stop for Intel Macs. This isn't just about new chips being better. It's about streamlining development. Apple Silicon allows for tighter integration between hardware and software, enabling features like advanced neural engines for AI and optimized graphics for things like ray tracing. Intel Macs on Tahoe will still get security updates, likely until 2029, giving them a solid 9 to 10 years of support. But for the latest bells and whistles? You'll need an M-Series Mac. If you're on an Intel Mac, it might be time to start budgeting for an upgrade. What's coming in macOS 27? Apple's keeping details under wraps, but we can make educated guesses based on macOS Tahoe's innovations. Tahoe introduced the Liquid Glass UI, a sleek, iOS-inspired redesign with transparent menu bars, customizable lock screens, and unified app icons with dark and tinted modes. macOS 27 will likely double down on this, making the Mac feel even more like an iPad or iPhone in terms of fluidity and cross-device harmony. Think deeper continuity features, like instant app handoff between your Mac, iPhone, and iPad, or a revamped dock with dynamic widgets. We might also see new apps ported from iOS, building on Tahoe's additions like the phone app for iPhone mirroring, journal, and magnifier. A native weather app or health app sync with Apple Watch data could be on the horizon. Performance-wise, with newer chips like M5 or M6, expect smoother animations, better multitasking, and support for advanced graphics like real-time ray tracing in creative apps. Also, the version numbering, 26 for 2025, 27 for 2026, suggests Apple sticking with a year-based system, making it easier to track updates. Apple Intelligence is stealing the show in macOS Tahoe, and macOS 27 will take it further. Tahoe integrated AI into Spotlight for faster searches and quick actions, like drafting emails or summarizing notes. For 27, expect Apple to expand this with generative AI tools. Maybe auto-generating code snippets in Xcode, smarter Siri with fully on-device processing, or advanced photo editing in photos that rivals pro software. The privacy angle is key. Apple's on-device AI processing means your data stays local, 
unlike some cloud-based competitors. With the neural engines in M4 and future M5-M6 chips, macOS 27 could make your Mac feel like a personal AI assistant. This is where Apple's silicon investment really pays off. Beyond hardware, there are some critical compatibility issues to watch for with macOS 27. First, legacy software. Apps built for Intel might not run smoothly on Apple Silicon without Rosetta 2, and while Rosetta has been great, some older 32-bit apps or specialized tools could face hiccups. Developers will need to update their software for ARM architecture, so check your essential apps for Silicon native versions. Now, a big one for the enthusiast community. Hackintosh. These are custom-built PCs running macOS on non-Apple hardware, but community consensus suggests macOS 27 will mark the end of viable Hackintosh installations due to architectural differences between Intel x86 and Apple's ARM-based silicon. With Tahoe being the last Intel-supported OS, Hackintosh users are calling it the Sunset Build, the final version they can reliably run without major hacks. Projects like OpenCore are accepting this as the end of an era, with future macOS versions being too tied to Apple Silicon's custom features to emulate easily. If you're into Hackintosh, Tahoe might be your last stop, and communities are already shifting focus to alternatives like Linux or BSD. The key technical challenges for Hackintosh as follows. ARM vs. x86 architectural incompatibility. Apple Silicon-specific hardware features. Secure boot and hardware validation. Graphics acceleration limitations. Neural engine dependencies. And Apple proprietary driver requirements. Apple Silicon uses ARM architecture, while Hackintosh relies on x86 Intel and AMD CPUs. Emulating ARM on x86 is nearly impossible at the system level required for macOS. Features like unified memory and custom GPUs are baked into macOS 27, making it incompatible with generic PC hardware. So, should you prepare for macOS 27? If you're on an Intel Mac, you're capped at Tahoe, so upgrading to an Apple Silicon Mac is your only path to 27. M1 or newer users. You're likely good for the free update, but double-check your model when Apple releases official requirements in 2026. Either way, macOS 27 is shaping up to be a bold step forward, especially for AI and UI fans. Stay tuned for more leaks and announcements as WWDC 2026 approaches. That's our full breakdown of macOS 27. What features are you most excited for? Drop them in the comments below, and let us know if you're planning to upgrade your Mac. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Apple news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.